do this on the belt sander. The 5.1 Epic Aggro. So aggressive. Oh my. Once again, Jason from Epic Bait Molds has taken one of the designs, one of the video designs, and created an aluminum mold for it. How freaking unique is that? Wow. Oops. Just a simple put your hook slot in place kind of hook slot. I've never wanted to just stop talking and pour a mold so bad. Let's just get a little bit of B-roll. You guys can just look at the mold. Here we go. First pour ever. I don't know what that noise was. My hot plate, it's not level. That, that looks fine though. Let's get to flicking some wing nuts. It's so smooth compared to mine. This is the softest plastic I'm gonna pour in it. Bait Plastics Soft Blend 142. Exclusively for research purposes. I'm sure it's like a wet sock, but let's see. We got a little messy, but that'll clean up fine. I went for a dirty clown paint scheme. Color scheme, no painting, just pouring. Okay, first multiple color demold. As you can imagine, this mold grabs a little bit. Lots of surface area. Ooh, I'm seeing some sheens and shines. Wow. You guys see that bloodline? It kind of worked. Those first two pours were super sloppy. Had a lot of cleaning up to do. That's gonna catch me a pike. I'm gonna start with a chartreuse, a very translucent one. Then let's do, this color's pretty good, fire orange bait plastics. And so we can see the action good, a neon green, lime truce. Here comes a delectable demold. Caught it. Oh my god. Oh goodness, that looks good. What in the world? That looks that bloodline going down to that super bright tail. This is still warm and needs has a lot of curing to do, but what a glorious bait. Fenn's out in the sunroom on his bicycle screaming. Excuse him. 
I have a plan that involves color shift. Actually, hyper shift. Hyper shift is with more than two colors. Just putting that in a cup. Now I'm gonna turn this green very dark. I'm kind of regretting not putting like a red or chartreuse line through it. I just poured that dark color. Sometimes you get too excited and you miss opportunities. It's looking all right. A third color would have been pretty gosh darn dope, you know? Let's do it. It's ready. We're doing a middle color. Get that tail filled. And then back to the same old dark color. This might be a thumbnail. Right here. Oh my goodness gracious. The lateral line is just straight through all those ribs. That was a fantastic pour. Yeah, that chartreuse definitely shows up. Everything just shows up so well in this bait. That just did it for me right there, fellas. I have been done for. <laughs> it's such an easy one to pour too, especially with that skin pour technique. I didn't have the hot plate on for this at all. Just a heat gun and an aluminum mold. And you can do that. Wow. This is that same color shift, but way more concentrated. We're gonna do the pour it in, dump it out thing. Got a little messy right there. Oh my goodness. There. I think it's gonna end up looking better if you don't stop at the bottom of the ribs. You gotta keep coming up a little bit halfway. The rest is gonna be really, really, really bright pink. If you're wondering why the mold looks so clean after being so dirty, it's because it's really easy. You see that? See that little bit right there? You just push and it cuts it and it's gone. You can do that all along these ribs. Everything breaks off really clean. You just go back over it with a heat gun and it looks like you just poured it perfectly. It's like serrated, so it's easier to do. Gold and green and blue, hyper shift with a pink core. Everything just looks interesting out of this mold because of the depth and the different thicknesses and they change so fast. Whoa. Sorry. You can put different thicknesses of different colors in front of colors very much. <laughs> you know what I just said was factually correct. This is what we have so far. I'm getting the itch. Let's take these and make it official. We're looking at a high of 95 degrees today. It's as blue as it gets. No clouds, very little wind even. I have a feeling this is gonna be really rough. So the bait works just like the silicone version. I mean exactly, like Jason did exactly the bait, aluminum version. That's what it feels like. Some spectacularly, spectacularly, 
them spectacularly accurate replicating of wooden masters Jason's capable of. It's wonderful. But that left me uninclined for some reason to describe the action of this bait at all while I was fishing it. So you'll see its action, don't worry. Swamp. Did you guys see that? I really should have set the hook. Getting late. Sun's almost down. I have been fishing a lot. I'm really surprised by how long each one of these have lasted too. It's nice to be out of the sun. Gotcha. Right at the bank. It's official. Finally. We might get more than one tonight. Pond bass, like and destroy the epic aggro. It's probably not destroyed, I can probably save it. Be free. Good old pond bass. Undoubtedly used, but still gonna be abused. Still kicking wonderfully. Maybe I should put the darker color on. There we go, darker. Yeah. We got another, fellas. That hookup felt really good. Just barely snagged him, though. Whew. We got another, two. It's twice as official. Large mouth like the aggro. Be free. That's exciting. I tried something where I just put a color in the head. That's kind of interesting. That's just a translucent chartreuse on the back as well. See what kind of action footage is possible right here. Due to the aggressive ribbing, it has body roll. Which is good, that is a good thing. I like body roll with big swim baits like that. I have a brighter one. This is chartreuse on the top. It does a lot of stuff. It just like bends and bounces around when you go slow. It body rolls and kicks super hard when you go fast. Lots of resistance. Oh, that was a, did you guys see that fish? I was trying to show you that when it's top water, it does this consistent thing. It does a consistent kick topwater and stays right on the surface just like that. It's all bubbly. Hopefully you guys saw all that. Oh man, it was small, but it just scared the crap out of me. My heart rate's up. Whew. That could be rock bass or green sunfish even. Just super aggressive. My imagine, sorry. Why has it gotta start so loud every time? My imagination is running wild with what to do with this. You can do stuff to each individual rib. You could make a rainbow. It's a more segmented way of thinking while pouring. And it has those natural benchmarks where the ribs start after the belly's poured and then the eyeball's centered with the center 
of that channel. There will be some amazing baits made with this mold, I tell you what. And they're available now, epicbaitmolds.com, linked below. Thank you, Jason and Amanda. Once again, go get yours. They're in Florida now. I'm still up here in Iowa. Go get your 5.1 Epic Agro right now, linked below. Have fun, fellas. So many possibilities. Okay, I think that was everything. On to the next bait. I've never wanted to just stop talking. I have been done for. Oh, man. Oh. So aggressive.